I was reading yesterday on Canva.com about two popular colors for 2021, which will be Green Hash and Raspberry Sorbet. So my name is Stefano, and in this video, I will show you how to take inspiration for these two colors to edit your urban photos. But let's get straight into the dark table interface. <music> And here I am on the dark table interface in the dark room module. Now I have four photos, actually five photos from uh, Melbourne city. And uh, these are all photos I made at night after the big storm. I usually go out after the big storm because I love to make photos either during the rain or after a big fall. Now let's jump straight away to the first photo of the tram that I did it with the panning technique. And I also wanted to give a little bit of a middling into the paddle well below the photo. Now, uh, the first thing that I like to do in this photo is to give a little bit of a contrast uh, to uh, take out all of the details into the tram. So if I activate the local contrast uh, just with um, the default value to me is absolutely fine. You can see more details than before. And that's pretty much what I want to do the color with the local contrast. The second thing I want to do is the color calibration. This is um, a module that I absolutely love. I did also another videos on color calibration where I explain a little bit more how to use it and I'm gonna put a link on top now what uh, color calibration um, what I want to do is to uh, decrease a little bit of the red into the uh, photo you can see here just tiny bit um, to take out a little bit of a reddish into the photo so I decrease the saturation of the red pixel and uh, when I go in brightness I decrease also the brightness of the green and the blue pixels. The other uh, module that uh, I like to use is also the haze removal and the haze removal uh, works I think fine to fix the problem here on the windows because there is a bit of um, foggy haze uh, inside uh, the, the windows and the tram too. So let's go into the haze removal. We activate the module. You can see that uh, without the haze remover, you have a little bit of a haze into the tram. It's not haze, but it's a similar to the haze effect. And um, once I increase the haze removal, I can have a little bit more of a definition in this part of the tram. Like you can see before and after. I'm happy with that and the last model I want to use is the color balance and that's where I'm going to introduce the two colors I talked before the green hash and the raspberry sorbet so let's get into that um, uh, where is it the color balance here it is and you see that you can insert the three colors either into the shadows, the mid-tones and the highlights. So I'm going to add uh, the shadows and the highlights, the green hash and the raspberry is going to go into the mid-tones. I have actually a preset with these values and I called it um, Urban Photo 2021. And I suggest you to do the same. Once you are happy with the colors that you want to insert in the photo, you just go on the hamburger icon here on the top right, right click on your mouse and then store new preset and you can put it here why do you want to do that look especially if you save your photos in the social environment like instagram facebook and the likes you want to give the same kind of editing on your photos so that people when they scroll in their own feed they can see the style and they recognize your work which is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion now i talked before that i wanted to insert the green hash and the raspberry saw but obviously here you see that um, it's hard to say which type of green or which type of raspberry. Uh, it could be raspberry sorbet, it could be raspberry ice cream, it could be <laughs> some other so, uh, raspberry. The point I think is that you can actually uh, put the exact color inside the color balance, but that's absolutely fine. I don't think you have anybody complaining that uh, the raspberry you inserted is actually not raspberry sorbet. The point here is that uh, you give a style to your photo, inserting a raspberry colors and also a greenish color but let's see now if we actually have improved our photo and to do that we take a snapshot from where we started take a snapshot then we go back to the history you 
you see how this photo is much cooler with a nice sense of urban environment now let's jump to the second photo i still remember that night when the rain started pouring again absolutely storm uh, but still you know you can find always a spot to make photo like i did in this case and also the next photo and um, I was interested by this guy that was playing on the computer. I had the talk with him, really nice guy. And uh, to improve this photo, uh, what I, I done, I added three modules, just three modules like I did in the previous photo. Local contrast with the uh, default values, color calibration as before, and then the color balance with the same uh, preset for Urban 2021. But let's go straight away to the, ex to the local contrast and we activate the module. You see that uh, more details have been added now to the person uh, on the computer. Uh, these are uh, just the default value. I haven't done much on that. The second thing I want to do is the color calibration. I go down into the color calibration. I activate the module. And uh, as you see, I just decrease a tiny bit the red and increase a tiny bit the blue. It's hard to probably see it in the brightness here. Maybe you can see a little bit on uh, on the person. So I increased the blue obviously because the light uh, emitted by the computer was a sort of bluish and it would have given uh, more uh, light into the person. Uh, from a colorfulness perspective, uh, I increased massively the red and I did that because I wanted to give more of a reddish color to all of the frames in the door that are on the back. And uh, here it is. Now, color calibration is finished, and the last thing I wanted to do is the color balance. And color balance, I've done exactly the same as before, which is I apply the Urban Photo 2021 preset. I'm going to put a link to the preset that you can download if you want. So now let's jump to photo number three. Again, I've used the usual three modules, which is the local contrast to give a little bit more of the details, color balance, color calibration, and also color zones. And I, I show you why I use the color zones in this photo. And now let's put the color contrast first. Default values, I'm more than happy with that. You can see that uh, I add a tiny bit of details uh, everywhere here in my subject. The second thing I wanted to do is to give a little bit of a color balance to add my two green hash and raspberry sorbet. So I go into the color balance, I activate the module, and what I do, I activate the Urban Photo 2021 preset, which gives me the um, green into the shadows and highlights and the raspberry into the midtones. After I do that, I go into the color calibration, I activate the module and you can see that I added a little bit of light. So let's start with the brightness. I added the brightness into the blue. Why did I add the light into the blue? Because you can see that this area is slightly blue and probably you add light just there. You see how the light is going right into the subject and not in the other parts of the photo. So we leave it there. And for the colorfulness, you see that when I add a little bit of a green, you add some greenish details into the building, which is what I want with a green ash insertion into the highlights. Now, the last thing I want to do is to work on the color zone. And the reason is that this part of my photo here is a bit too bright and too colorful, and it takes the attention out from my subject here. And to eliminate this problem, I use the color zone. And what do I do? You see then as soon as I activate the module these uh, orangish disappear and uh, suddenly the attention goes to the subject of my photo and what did I do here I decrease the color of these orangish here so I just uh, color pick the orange here and then I decrease the value up to a point where I'm happy to. And the second thing I, I did in the color zone was to activate this change only on this part of the photo and not in the whole photo. And to do that, I've done a mask and I added a path to the limit the area where I want to apply my change. That was before, grabbing your attention, 
and after almost the same color of the building. And now let's jump to photo number four, which is probably the last one of this uh, video, just because otherwise it gets too long, but I really wanted to give you all of the details for the editing in the urban photography that I'm doing in Melbourne. Now, uh, this photo is a bit different from uh, all of the others, uh, just because um, I've done it uh, with the idea to have this uh, nice reflection and almost a 50-50 photo. Um, so let's start from uh, the original photo that you can see here. It's very dark, so I added a little bit of exposure overall to the whole photo. But then I have done also another two modules, exposure one and exposure two. The first exposure one, I wanted to give more light only to the lower part of the photo. And the exposure two, I wanted to take down the light of this central part of the photo. The reason being is that it's way too bright and it's taking too much attention off my eye. So let's jump straight away on exposure one. I activate the module. And you can see that here it's a tiny bit brighter, almost similar colors to the upper part. And to do that, I just increase the exposure a tiny bit and I use a mask and I define a layout for this mask only in this area yellowish. Now, exposure number two in a similar way, but only to the central part. I decrease, in this case, the exposure, almost one stop. And I use, again, a similar mask to work only in this central part. After I've done that, I also work on the shadows and the highlights. Uh, just to take down these lights again, which are a little bit too much. And to do that, I just decrease the highlights, but I've done the change only to the uh, shape that I created before, which was in uh, exposure two. So I selected this uh, and it's working only on the central part. There is no need to create a new mask. You just use one of the masks you used previously. And uh, I jump uh, therefore to the color balance. Uh, and the color balance is the one that gives that a nice uh, um, greenish uh, and uh, raspberry color <laughs> to the photo. Um, again, um, that's very easy to do it. Uh, same value as in the other photos. Again, preset urban photo 2021 that you can download if you want and now let's see the before and after for all of these photos i'm gonna put some music in the background and i'm gonna go through the all four photos of course if you enjoy the video please put a like and i see you in the next one let's get some music on i need you closer than ever ever than before my life is wasted if I can't spend it all with you I've lived in total darkness, now you're my 